You know, I really wish it would uh, <laughs> warm up so we could get out here and get this mess cleaned up from the winter, all this mud, get the tractor and grade all this down, make it a lot easier for these cows to get around. Plus, we've got all these gardens started for a spring garden inside, and it's still getting in the 20s. Expect to get in the 20s again next week. So, can't really put those out in the greenhouse yet because the greenhouse is not heated. Even if we covered them inside the greenhouse, it's still probably not going to help a whole lot. So, uh, we're just still dealing with winter right now. Of course, it is just, you know, the end of, well, almost the end of February. But anyhow, let's check on everybody. Make sure everybody's still with us this morning. Babies here. Mama cow, her calf. There's a little storm laying there. There's her mama. Right, let's see. I don't see the other calf. One, two, three, four, seven, eight. Oh, I'm missing a cow too, so maybe she's with her calf. Uh, one of the cows is not here, so I'm hoping she's up here with her calf. She uh, beds her calf down in an odd place. Ah, there it is. I wonder where I lost that. Alright, she beds her calf down over here by these. It's not really woods, it's a thicket not the ideal place it's a smart place it keeps the calf out of the wind but it's a bad place for coyotes to come in here see the calf she beds it down right here by this thicket we've had coyotes come out of the woods from across the road I've shot them right here crossing this this pasture this field here They'll come up here in this thicket right here. There's a lot of deer come up here and bed down. So, and there she are, little girl. He yeah, had a little girl. But she was born, let's see, three days ago. Hey, baby girl. Where's your mama, huh? Where's your mama? Where's your mama? Where's your mama? See mama. Oh, there's mama. I'm gonna get mama up here. What are you gonna bet? Me. 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 There's mama. Me. Me. <laughs> yeah, there comes mama. I don't think somebody's up here messing with her baby. She knows where she put it. All of them seem to be taking care of this little one right here. This is one that got stuck in the hole out here the other day. And Cookie had to get it out or help it get out. But uh, this mama let out a like a distress call and every one of them came over here. Actually, the cows pushed it out of the hole and then Cookie helped it get down away from it closer to the hay ring. But uh, pretty amazing how they communicate with each other. Uh, you, you never think these cows, I mean, all this noise they make, they're definitely talking to each other because they communicated that one of them's baby was in distress and they all came up here to help. There's the mama right there. There's the mama cow. Your baby's up there. Oh, he's up. Must be hungry this morning. You better go get your baby. Yep, she sees somebody messing with her baby. Hmm. 
<laughs> and she'll go take care of him or her. So far, four heifer calves. No bulls yet. So I haven't been able to name anybody hamburger. Hey girls. Hey girls. Breakfast time. Huh? That is definitely what we wanted to see. So everybody's good, everybody's happy. I think we can turn this other calf out today with its mama. I just wanted to put it up last night to keep an eye on it since she was just uh, born yesterday morning in the rain and it was rained and then it got cold. So I wanted to give her a chance to dry off good. Give them all the chances that we can, you know, to survive. I know my buddy says, it's my job to take care of the cow and make sure that she's as healthy as she can be and survive and have that baby. And then once she has that calf, it's her job to take care of that calf. Uh, you probably heard me say that before, but I'm going to do what I can, what I think's best for them too. So just give them every chance that I can. Now, all, all the mamas won't bring their babies in. Sometimes you just can't get them to come to the barn after they have a have a calf but uh this one did she came in last night she's a pretty gentle cow and uh i just put her up all right well like i said we got baby chicks in the house so i'm gonna go out here and get a bucket and a light set it up inside the house and uh as they start coming out of the incubator we're gonna load that bucket up and then take them out later and put them in a brew box. All right, we got us a light and a bucket. We'll take this in, set it up in the, in the kitchen there. Uh, when the chicks hatch, we'll just drop them in here in the bucket, keep them warm. I'll put some shavings down in here. Keep the light on it, keep them warm, and as soon as you know some of them hatch today, we'll start bringing them out here and putting them inside the uh, brooder box.
Or baby Gertrude.